Hello guys! Welcome to Brief You. So right now I'm actually going to be doing um, a collective reading. I don't have any pre tailed message, but intuitively um, I was drawn to do this reading. So we just don't see what comes up, okay? I mean, if you'd like, you can also check out um, any of like my elemental sign readings as well as the individual readings as well. Um, right as I split the deck, I see childhood innocence. Um, man, like if you have had like childhood issues, um, now is the time to really kind of focus on those things, um, that are still kind of, you know, I don't want to say haunting, that sounds a little crazy, not haunting you, but it could feel like that because like, it could be like repetitive thinking that you're just like, oh my gosh, why does this keep coming up from the past? Um, there's something there that you need to deal with, need to reflect on, um, and that's going to help you to move forward. To these new blessings that are trying to come in but also that could be blocking you um from the blessings it's like maybe you're too stuck on the past um i'm feeling for some of you guys yeah um and then of course <laughs> it's funny um as i split the deck again childhood innocence came up again and emergence so yeah so maybe something is coming up from that childhood um and this could actually be like for some of you um who have already done your work um when it comes to like you know childhood issues and stuff um it could definitely be like something positive like maybe a creation or um a dream or a goal that you had as a child that you kind of just uh you know it's like oh whatever as you've grown older you're like ah oh, i'm not doing that anymore but i feel like maybe something has come up that you're just like oh wow you know i'm maybe still interested in something from the past for some of you like even myself like recently um some stuff has popped up like you know as a kid like I used to do dancing and like acting and singing and stuff like that so I'm just like oh my gosh like I don't know why recently I'm just like I just want to dance again like <laughs> just have fun um maybe some of you guys are like thinking about like stuff that you used to do as a kid where you had so much fun and you love to do it just maybe you know it just fell off or you just didn't really pursue it and I'm hearing now's the time for some of you that's that's what it is and then, oh, wow, that's funny, blessings at the bottom. So, yeah, definitely, um, I feel like blessings are coming in for y'all. Like, there's definitely going to be blessings. Wow, blessings and celebration, yes. In the next few months to come, it's going to be very celebratory. Um, there's going to be a lot of happiness, a lot of joy, a lot of love. But definitely blessings are coming in as well, for sure. And then I'm seeing wake-up call and completion. So maybe some of you guys um, wake up call like you're completing a cycle right now. Um, this is what I'm also getting for some of you guys, but yeah, definitely we're starting a new cycle and that could be something that you are also celebrating. All right, let's get into this. All right. Thank you God for all those pre channel messages that just came through. Um, please help me to get four beautiful cards for the collective, four cards for the collective. Ooh, we have three. Oh, wow. We have fire, passion. Yes. There's something you're passionate about. This vision quest, you're bringing this vision to life in Dragonfly Emergence. Again, something's coming up. Oh, wow. Wow, this is funny. And then the volatility card. Yeah, so something definitely is erupting. Something is coming out, like I said. But that's, that's crazy. Now, I know y'all seen me shuffle like 50 times. Blessings, <laughs> again, at the bottom. Yes, and then promise. So, yeah, so a promise of new blessings is coming in for you guys. You know, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna pull this one out because it just it just wanted to come out. It's meant to be. It's meant to be. <laughs> it is. All right, let's see. Wow, that um, let me see what I can. Some nice stuff I can tell y'all. So yeah, definitely um, whatever it is that you are passionate about or you have like so much passion for, um, I feel like it's a great time for you to really bring that vision to life. Now. I feel like, like I said, like maybe this is also bringing up some old memories or um, feelings as well with the emergence card there. Um, and some of this could also make you very volatile. Um, certain things, obviously, from childhood aren't always going to be good. So there could be certain things there that um, I'm hearing like resentful, that you could be resentful towards. Um, oh, I'm hearing like towards your parents um, for certain stuff. But I'm also hearing like you need to let that go. Um, I feel like, like, like I said earlier, I feel like there may be something from the past that's kind of blocking you, um, but being able to let it go, forgive, 
um, not forget, but to, for, to forgive, um, it's going to be very helpful. And honestly, forgiveness is not really for the other person. This is something I've learned on my journey. Um, it's really not for the other person. It's truthfully for you. Because at the end of the day, if you think about it, you know, if you're hurt, or what I, oh, sorry. If you're hurt, you know, or if someone has done something to you, honestly, you know, you're, you're going to be the one at the end of the day who's sitting in those negative feelings, you know, and honestly sitting in those negative feelings like stress or whatever, or even anger and resentment can lead to so many different, um, physical, like physical things happening to your body because of stress, um, you know, so try to be mindful of that. Like there may be certain things that you're holding on to that you just don't need to hold on to it more. Like you just need to kind of grow and learn from these situations um and i'm hearing to forgive to move forward um for some of you so yeah definitely definitely wow this is pretty beautiful um but there's definitely blessings um ahead for you and this could be because you're going on this vision quest because you are following what you love or what you're passionate about um and right and really doing what is coming from the heart i just heard <laughs> sometimes i have to i just agree i'm sorry <laughs> You know, but that's what I'm feeling um, for a lot of us with this collect because this is the collective reading. All right, all right. So let me see what other messages I can get for you guys. God, I thank you so much for all those messages that have come through. Please help me to get some um, some more like clarification or information. Wow. Okay. Okay. Wow. Um, the first card that popped up was deceit. So yeah. Um, definitely for some of you, this could be also making you volatile. Like this could be um, deceit. I'm hearing from like parents or family members, um, friends or lovers, like just deceit period. Ooh, or deceit at work. Okay, okay, that's something new. Ooh, I'm hearing sabotage. Okay, so someone's, ooh, and fake friends. I don't know, okay. The, you know, cause this is for the collective. So it's gonna be like different for everybody. Um, and then we have indecision. So I feel like you're probably indecisive about how to move forward. Again, I feel like if you follow your heart and your intuition, um, you will be able to know which choice is good for you, which is right and which is wrong. You will know which way to go. I knew that was the Georgia Valley. So yeah, once you kind of decide on what it is that you want to do, and like I said, if you're following your heart and your intuition, you will be going to the right way. You will be going the right direction. And that's going to bring in a lot of blessings. Like, and these blessings can be this door to value. Or underneath that is a fourth chakra, which is your heart chakra. So opening up your heart chakra or bringing in love. Or maybe, um, with, oh, I'm oh, sorry, I'm talking a little too fast. Um, but also, I'm just getting so much things coming in at the same time. But, um, I feel like with that opening of the heart chakra, you're able to, um, give yourself that room to open and to receive, you know, love, um, but also to open yourself up to give love as well, is what I'm getting with that, all right, um, any more messages, ooh, strategy, okay, okay, well, that's good, let me see, a couple more cards, please, wow, <laughs> thank you, <laughs> and then one more, please, one more, Wow, two more. Well, three, because this one popped up too. <laughs> that is funny. That is so funny. All right, let me see. Oof. Mm. Uh, uh huh. Okay. So I'm putting these two together. Because these are things that you're moving away from or working to get out of. Okay. Like those, those are things from the past. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. No. Okay. Alright. So we're gonna shift gears a little bit. That's right. Because because it's collective, so I, I just get very many different messages. But you will know what resonates with you and what doesn't, um, depending on what you're going through in your life. You know what I mean? Some people this could be for the past, some people this is for the present, some it's going to be for the future, um, but you will know you have to use your discernment um, and your intuition as well. Alright, so I feel like you're definitely moving away from financial constraints and deceit. Like these are things of the past that may have put you in an indecisive place, like not knowing how to move forward because you have you know financial constraints. You're like, oh my gosh, how am I going to um, pursue this dream or goal when I don't have the money? 
you know, um, and that could be something that has been holding you back from really following your dreams. But I feel like regardless of that, if you strategize, you will be able to move forward um, and really figure out how you can make your finances better. Um, I feel like, and then because I came out with this, like, next to the cornucopia card, um, you can strategize to find, like, ways, um, I'm here, like, strategize for your happiness, so to figure out, like, things outside of yourself that can make you happy as well, maybe that's what some of you guys are focusing on, but the happiness has to start from within, um, you know, honestly, that's, that's how I'm feeling, but I feel like that's for some of you, like, this you know, strategizing about the happiness outside of you. Um, and that could be because the financial constraints you've had. So you're strategizing on how to make that better for you, how to have this abundance, um, you know, and with the cornucopia, it's like abundance and all of these beautiful material things. Um, but as well, I see this beautiful butterfly here and she's kind of glowing. I feel like that's like kind of like a rebirth um, that could happen for some people. Or like not everyone, or even like coming into your power because that came out with the magician and the mayor card. Um, so I feel like you're finding that happiness, but you're also finding that magic within you um, and that love within you. And you're able to really manifest and create the things that you want in your life and to bring this happiness and joy in. Um, and also, not only are you going to be able to bring in like monetary things, but I feel like when it comes to love and um, with this caring connections card, I feel like you're also able to build more caring connections. Um, and despite what has happened in the past of people being deceitful, I feel like you're not going to al allow that to affect you. Don't allow the fear to hold you back from moving towards your happiness and creating um, the abundance and the love that you want in your life. With this magician here, I feel like you have the strength and the power um, within, like I said, you have that magic within you to really, really create this for yourself. Um, you just have to believe in it. That's what I heard. You have to believe in it. Um, and then the last card I have is the door to spirit. So yes, also opening up that door to spirit, speaking to God, um, the universe, believing in the God in the universe, but also, you know, with certain things, letting go and just letting God, um, guide you. It's going to be extremely helpful as well moving forward. All right. Let's see. Thank you, God, for all those beautiful messages that have come through. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right as I split this deck, um, we have completion and rejection. So, again, um, that is definitely something that you're walking away from. I feel like a lot of you have had, like, a lot of hurt, you know, in your heart because of someone or because of past relationships, but I feel like, um, you need to let that go. If someone did reject you, you need to look at yourself and find your own self-worth. Don't look at this other person to find that happiness or, you know, that love that you should have for yourself and that you can have within yourself, um, is what I'm getting with that. And then with that completion is like, you know, no longer do you have to sit in that place of feeling rejected anymore. Like, that needs to be done and over with um right and like also and i'm also hearing like with that with the deceit as well like kind of just beginning now, i don't want to say get over it like dally you know like not to be rude but like to forgive um and just move forward with your life um to bigger and better like you know obviously if it didn't if it didn't work out it's for a reason and just believe in that like you know god does not make any mistakes okay like period so you know believe in that moving forward regardless of what has happened well it's funny i just seen the passion card again and trickery so again like there was deceit um and this could be deceit um something that you were passionate about like um ooh, mm, damn that's that's deep i heard maybe someone has sold you a false dream Ooh, or a false start for some of you guys maybe you thought like oh you're gonna have a new beginning or something with someone and that just didn't work out and that you know that made you feel rejected um but i feel like with forgiveness you're you're able to move forward and really have that happiness and honestly you're gonna get a better connection anyway like look at how happy they are like they seem very happy they're just very in love you know i feel like that's definitely what's coming in um but also for some of you like again like you have to open up um to the possibilities um and also to the love of god that's really gonna bring in a lot of different stuff for you yeah that's crazy so again like that trickery you know it really brought in a lot of 
you know, insecurities within yourself. So again, like that self-love and, and really tapping into your own worth, you will see how much power and how beautiful and how strong that you truly are and, and how magical I just are and how magical you are uh, and also how loving you are. Like maybe some of you guys needed to hear that, but like honestly, like you are. Thank you, God, for those beautiful messages. Um, can you please help me to get a couple, well, actually not a couple, a few more cards um, for the collective? Right. Right. And you will know, like, what, um, right, like, what resonates with you and what doesn't. All right, God, please help me to get some more messages for everybody. Wow. <laughs> Didn't I tell you? Like, everything happens for a reason. So whatever that hurt and pain was of the past, you know, like, that has now opened it up for this beautiful soulmate connection. For you guys, this caring connection, this soulmate to come in. Mm-hmm. And this could be on, like, ooh, that could also be, on, like, on a spiritual level. Um, I'm hearing for some of you guys. Yes, that's beautiful. Ooh, and the perception card. Yes, 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 yes. Once you change your perception, I feel like this indecision is gonna is gonna go away. You're gonna be able to know how you want to move forward. Absolutely, because that has been a block with this impasse underneath. That has been a block for you. This indecision or not knowing how to move forward that has been blocking you. But I feel like once you change your perception or your mindset, you're gonna be able to move forward in in a very strong way, and you're gonna be able to strategize after that. But it, it you know again, it starts within yourself. Um, for you to do that in your work um and really be guided by your inner voice and by the universe or by god thank you god for those messages Ooh. wow yes oh my gosh i love this yes because this is all part of your destiny your journey and you are moving forward again and look at this you are having this enlightenment come into you as well I'm gonna, yes, like, I'm feeling like with this door to spirit, like, you know, it's gonna bring in enlightenment, as well as, like, changing your perception and going within, um, but you also need to accept, like, this is part of your destiny, it's part of your journey, like, facts, and right now, like, I'm kind of drawn to, like, this black and white here, um, it reminds me of, like, yin and yang, but it's, like, you know, these two people there, I feel like this could be you and, like, your soulmate, or it's part of your destiny, to find the soulmate, um, and to be doing, I'm here, like, to do spiritual work, um, oh my gosh, twin flames, <laughs> twin flame for some of you guys, I try to stay away from <laughs> twin flame readings, but we got soulmate and destiny and enlightenment and all that beautiful stuff, yes, again, like, there was something that was confusing you from the past, but I feel like with you changing your perception, really strategizing, um, you're really looking at your self-worth and, you know, loving on yourself, you're able to get out of that confusion. Any other messages? Wow. Yes. So the past was, you know, looking back at the past, it was very bittersweet because there was a lot of hurt and pain there, but there was so much to be learned and gained if you look at it in a different perception, you know, instead of looking at it like, oh my gosh, these things didn't work out, blah, 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 blah. you know, all that bullshit excuse my language but you know like you know instead of just looking at it like from a negative standpoint just looking at it as you know the lessons learned and the blessings as well because um you know sometimes when things don't work out it's a blessing in disguise like truthfully it is oh yes and we have this renewal card that's beautiful i love this yes you're getting to a place of renewal absolutely um and you will feel renewed. You will have this enlightenment come into you. You're going to have this new perception. You're on your way to follow what is your destined path for you. Um, and eventually, that is going to open up like the door for your beautiful soulmate to walk right up in there. You know, and this could be for a romantic relationship or this could be for um, hearing like a friendship as well. Like it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic Um relationship um and i feel like like underneath I, I see guilt here um maybe some of you have had some guilt from the past um but i feel like you need to let that go um because like also seeing here she has a chain on her hand on one of her hands on her right hand so maybe um having guilt about something from the past but you needing to let that go needing to let that go to free yourself mm, mm. 
to forgive to really you know for yourself and then lastly i'm going to take this one um this is the balance card so trying to find different ways to balance yourself out is really going to bring in this beautiful renewal um and this change of perception it truly is like you know let me see where should i stick this one well actually i feel like with a magician because it's like you need to balance yourself out there wow well oh, yeah that's pretty beautiful reading so far like honestly yeah i didn't expect any of this but it was pretty beautiful thank you guys for all the messages that have come through for the collective and this could be for any of you if you're water signs air signs earth signs and fire signs all of you um this reading can you know resonate with anybody um but you will know if it resonates with you or not if not um please do check out the other readings that i have as well um by your elemental sign or even just by you know the individual signs as well that i have wow these ones fell on out of there yeah but definitely um these are a lot of the blessings that are coming in um is you know that enlightenment is the balance in your life is the renewal feeling like a beautiful rebirth um but also new love and bringing in a soulmate connection and a new perception so many different blessings there um and i'm also feeling like with monetary things as well you're going to be blessed um so it's just gonna be very beautiful right and i feel like Again, I'm going back to this volatility card. I feel like it's going to be very unexpected. Um, the right, like, this is what I'm getting. Like, it's going to be unexpected. Um, it's just kind of, it's just going to come up. Right, probably out of nowhere for some of you. Like, maybe you're not even thinking about love or anything. And then you're going to just meet somebody. And you're going to be like, who the fuck? <laughs> you're like, who the fuck is this? And why do we just, like, you know, like, click? Like, sometimes that happens. Um, but I feel like, you know, that might happen for some of you or even like with this finances, you know, changing, it may happen unexpectedly or you might get a new job or new opportunity. You know, obviously, um, it's going to be different for everybody. You know, please let me know how it resonates with you. Again, like this could be your past, present or the future. Um, only you will know. Only you will know. But this is pretty cool. Mm hmm. But yeah, all these changes are emerging. Um, they they truly are. Mm-hmm. Right, like that's awesome. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull a couple more cards for you guys. And then I'm gonna wrap this reading up. <laughs> Alright. God, thank you so much for all these beautiful messages that have come through. Please help me to get a couple more cards. Um, just to wrap this reading for the collective. Wow. Ooh love this one i am a spirit having a human experience and i'm here to get closer to love yes and you will you will definitely from this reading absolutely absolutely all right let's see any more whoa thank you <laughs> wow oh my gosh i love these ones when i lean on certainty and faith i change my mind about the world that i see beautiful and the last one i have for you guys Oh, I love this. I am the loving energy of the universe. Yes. <laughs> wow, that is so crazy. And underneath it all, um, in every moment, the universe is conspiring to bring me to right-minded thinking and the energy of love. Oh, my gosh. That is absolutely beautiful. Well, this actually has been a, a great reading. I'm so glad that I did this. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. Please do check out my other videos as well. If you want to know the decks that I use, the description box below will have their names. Also, my social medias. If you want to follow me or subscribe, please do so. Thank you.